Welcome to Small Lab, an embodied learning environment. Today we're going to talk to you about how to go through a scenario called Color Mixer with your students. In this scenario, they'll learn how to work collaboratively to mix together colors of light. Color Mixer needs three players. And for this scenario, I'm going to take the role of the red player. Caroline will be the green player. And Ben over here will be the blue player. So what we mix together will show up in the red target area. Your wand is linked to a certain hue. When that shows up in the target area, the central target area, you want to match that color. So for instance, this is red, pure red. So I would raise my wand high while the other two players would keep theirs low. Let's see if we can match as these quickly show up. I'm calling this a central timer or target because the uh, width of the uh, target area lets me know how much time I have left to match. Let me show you how this works. Okay, blue's coming up. Red. Red. Blue. Now it's green. I have to go low. I'm going to stay low and show you what happens when a mistake is made. Oh, now you see how this black inner outer circle has become uh, larger, meaning that our time is now decreased, the time we have to match what's in the center area. So green match. Oh, now, let me pause. There are three levels to this game, color mixer. The first level, you're matching pure colors. The second level, you're going to match two colors at a time. So for instance, when green and red are mixed together, they make yellow. When red and the blue are mixed together, they make magenta. So at level two, we have to quickly match with the two, the two, in an additive process, the two colors that are showing up in the target. Let me show you how that works. In level two, as you'll see, now we're getting a magenta color. So that means that Ben and I have to lift our wands in a coordinated manner, and Caroline has to keep hers low. So students would have to dialogue about this, and that way they have to work together. It's collaborative. So here we go. All right, just pure red. Oh, white. What's going to happen with white? All of us need to raise our wands together. Ooh, black. We missed that. What? White. The third level is a bit more nuanced. In this one, you have to be very strategic because the height of your wand corresponds to the saturation of the color. So it's not binary or on off like it was before, either high or low. Now, if I hold my wand at mid-level, that means I'm going to get a medium amount of this color in there. So as you can see in the central um, timer target, there is gray. So where should we hold our wands? Not all the way up, right, but halfway point. So let's see how the game goes now. Red seems sort of high, green. Magenta, that was hard. Oh, it's moving pretty fast. And it's moving really fast. Blue. White, everyone's up high. Gray mid-level. Us? Oh, we hit the edge, painful. This scenario builds naturally on the other scenarios that we have that deal with color. So your students will enjoy playing it. It's also possible as the teacher to um, stop in the middle and mediate the harder colors by pausing and talking about what the mixtures might be at level three.